everyone. Just kidding. Oh, shoot. Dang it. <laughs> Never a dull entry on my show, is it? Well, welcome back. Today, I actually today and pretty much always, I'm Kelly Schneider, and this is my show, What's Up Peoria? And uh, I'm going to give you the rundown as I do on the weekend. And this weekend is Thursday, April 26th through Sunday, April 29th. See, I always double check that now because I've fibbed on occasion and it just makes me look silly. Uh, and actually, you know what? We're going to give a quick shout out to Wednesday of this week. Wednesday, April 25th, we've got the Peoria Rivermen are going to start their finals cripes. I should have paid attention to what that all was about. Um, so I knew specifically what I was going to say. But anyways... Go check out one of their games. It's tomorrow at 7.15 at the Peoria Civic Center Arena. And uh, we're going to help them win the playoffs. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to my normal stuff because I know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so Thursday, April 26th, we've going we've gonna to start with talking better. Um, anyways, so if you go over to Elevate uh, trampoline park which is there on allen road they have theme thursday every week theme thursday that wasn't even on accident that was purposeful um so this week is crazy sock night on on thursday night so uh the only thing is you will need to you know they say come bring your crazy socks on your feet and then uh you know we'll show them off have a bit of a parade i made all that up there might not be a parade but they did have a note that says um you will need to put on the specific special grippy socks that they wear there, um, you know, for jumping purposes. But anyways, so every Thursday there's a new theme. We'll keep up with that. Uh, I'm sure you've been hearing a lot about this one, but Kevin Hart is going to be here with his irresponsible tour. Um, that's going to be at the Peoria Civic Center at 7 p.m. If you are going, it's because you already have tickets, I'm guessing. Big announcement about it, though. No phones, no photos, no videos. So just don't even bother bringing your phone in because I honestly don't know what they're going to make you do with it. Maybe they got lockers or something for you to put them in there, but don't know. Just don't bring them. How about that? Excellent. So uh, as we all know, there, there truly is no place like home as it is in the greatest family musical of all time, which is the wonderful Wizard of Oz. So... It's coming to Peoria. Uh, we've got the entire family will be captivated as they travel down the yellow brick road and beyond with Dorothy, Toto, and their friends, the Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, and Scarecrow in this lavish production featuring breathtaking special effects, dazzling choreography, and classic songs. Um, so this is, again, going to be at the Peoria Civic Center as well. Uh, and this performance will start at 7.30 uh, again on Thursday. And then finally on Thursday, Picnic will be presented by the Bradley University Theater Department at the Hartman Center for the Performing Arts on Bradley Campus. That's also going to start at 7.30. Um, they also have shows Friday and Saturday at 7.30 and then at 2 p.m. on Sunday. So if you didn't get to check out Picnic last weekend, go have a picnic this weekend. All righty. So we'll roll on into Friday. Friday is April 27th, and we're going to start the day with a vendor and craft fair, which is going to be held at the Journey Church, which is in East Peoria. So on Friday, um, that's going to go from 1 to 6 p.m., and then on Sunday from noon to 6. So vendors will include Painted Whisker, Blessed Cursed, Blessedly Cursed, sorry, Norwex, Pink Zebra, um, Sherry's Craft Shack with wreaths and more, Sensi 31. You know, you get the idea. I don't, I obviously did not read, need to read off like 20 of those things. But there's actually even more on the list that I didn't get to. There's a bunch. Um, and, and more importantly, the proceeds are going to go to benefit the church and the ministries that they support. So again, you're going to go have a good time and do good in the process, which is just, I feel like that's our motto here in Peoria. And I just love that. I love that about us. We're so cool. All righty. I have been talking about this for the past couple weeks, but that's no different right now because Quail Metals High School Golf Program is still going on. Um, again, open for boys and girls ages 14 to 17. 
Uh, and it's always held on Fridays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at Quail Meadows uh, Golf Course. So it includes on-course instruction, uh, driving range training, training, driving range training, and aid using the uh, golf simulators. So if you've got a young golfer in your life that's looking to develop their skills, I reckon that would be a really great way to do so. Okie dokie. So fourth Friday of the month, which means Tazewell County will celebrate local businesses and the arts um, through the fourth Friday Tazewell Art Loop Tour initiative. Anyways, it's organ, it's organed. No, it's organized <laughs> by the Morton and Pekin Chambers of Commerce and the Delavan Community, and it's also sponsored by Unlin Company. So uh, you can go check out artists. Artists. Sorry, I read businesses too quickly. Just smushed it together. So you can go check out artists, businesses, and organizations um, because they've all partnered to create a fun you know, local experience um, that gives you a, a real taste of the communities of Morton, Delavan, and Pekin. So every fourth Friday, um, again, you can enjoy local art. You can mingle with the artists. You can check out some of the exhibits, watch performances and demonstrations. You can listen to live music and explore the local shops and restaurants. So every fourth Friday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. And it's just always a good time. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. I feel like that's happened, you know, pretty much every other episode now. So you're used to, <laughs> uh, sorry. Anyways, we've got live music, local uh, talented artists from, from local, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, live music goes on at the Contemporary Art Center starting at 5.30 and then uh, Rhythm Kitchen will do that from eight to 11 if you can't go to the earlier stuff. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, we've got the 12th annual Passage to India, and that's going to take place at the Peoria Civic Center starting at 5.30. This evening, entitled A Journey of the Senses, will feature authentic Indian culture, cuisine, and more to benefit the Easter Seals of Central Illinois. <sighs> See, this never happens in my other episodes. I just... Uh. Mm. Hero, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to get through it, folks, unless I made it worse. Nope, I think it made it better. All righty. So we've got, uh, you know, a murder mystery dinner. We have a lot of those coming up, which is always fun. And um, this one will be no different, I imagine. So it is Murder at the Moonlight Manor. This is going to be held at the Holiday Inn and Suites over there at the Green Prairie. And it's going to start at 530 with a cocktail hour. So there will be a dinner. There's a silent auction plus a cash bar in the show. And the benefits will pro. Nope, the proceeds will benefit the Southside Office of Concern. So if you want to know a little bit more about the theme here, I will divulge. So we have everyone's looking to get away, especially if you've booked your weekend for the Moonlight Manor. It's built on a haunted estate, but the place is known less for the people who come for the weekend and more who stay for eternity. <gasps> So if that doesn't intrigue, I'm sorry, I'll stop yelling so into the mic too. Okay, if that doesn't intrigue you, just wait until you meet the staff. That could have been way overly dramatic. I calm down now. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, come and book your stay. They're dying to have you. Mwahaha. <laughs> and, and that is presented to you by Without Annette Entertainment. All righty. We're going to go back into the sports ball stuff that I have no idea what I'm talking about, but you probably will if you're interested in any of that. So we've got the Louisville Slugger Sports Complex is going to host the Hits for a Cure for Children's Cancer Treatment and Research, which is super cool. And that's going on starting on Friday at 4.30 p.m. There's also the Peoria Spring Shootout, which is taking place there, and it's going to start at 6 p.m., on Friday, and then it goes through the whole weekend, and that's a three-game guarantee format. 
And that's all I'm going to tell you about that. If you're looking for some music and a fun night out, you can go check out Kenny's West Side Pub because they're going to host Old Shoe with special guest Still Shine. And that's going to start at 9 p.m. And I cannot help but think, can we still shine the old shoe or something like that? I don't know. So we're going to talk about Saturday so I don't get hung up on silliness like that. Saturday is April 28th, and we are going to start with the Great American Cleanup that will take place in the city of Peoria from 9 to noon. Um, the Community Development Department will supply dumpsters and volunteers to enhance neighborhood cleanup efforts. If you want a dumpster for your neighborhood or to find out how to get more involved, um, you can go to the website keeppeoriabeautiful.org. So cool. Way to go, Peoria. We also have the Bison Blessing coming up this weekend. So that's going to be at the Wildlife Prairie Park, and we'll kick off uh, the Bison Blessing beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday and then at 10 on Sunday. So they celebrate Mother Earth with the Seven Circles Heritage Center. There will be vendors, crafts, and related educational activities. I feel like I'm losing stuff. I played it cool though, right? All right, super cool, right? <laughs> we have the Peoria Symphony Orchestra. They're going to present Great Cities, Rome, at the Peoria Civic Center Theater. And that's gonna start at 7.30. So, music from Great Cities is what I'm getting from that. All right, Steady Flow will be back at Kenny's West Side Pub on Saturday, and the doors open at 8 p.m. Or two white crew will be performing at Cruisins on Farmington starting at 10 p.m. So two great shows, two different venues. I don't know how you want to play that out, but you'll make it work. I believe in you. And then we're going to wrap up with Sunday, which is April 29th. And um, the only just Sunday specific thing, other than the things I mentioned going on throughout the weekend, is the Orpheus Club Men's Choir Spring Concert. That's going to be held at the First Federated Church, and it will start at 7 p.m. So under the direction of Russell Bolton, the show will feature patriotic tunes in memory of the anniversary of the First World War. Wow. Wow. Anyways, the club has been entertaining the Peoria area with male voice four-part harmony for 116 years. That's incredible. So if you want your chance to go check them out, again, that's First Federated Church beginning at 3 p.m. on Sunday. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. As always, hope you had a good time. I did. Um, and please let me know if you know of anything that I'm missing the plot on or like and share the video or even just tell your friends about the show. Just be like, hey, crazy lady talking about stuff that's going on this weekend. Got to get something good out of that, right? I said, hope so. And that's why we're friends. All right. So hopefully I will see you around this weekend at some of our fabulous events. Have a great weekend. PeoriaLife.com